In order to understand the building blocks of life, we first got to understand the pieces. And we call those little tiny pieces monomers. So if we think of the prefix mono, mono means one. So our monomers are our individual pieces that come together to make those building blocks, which we can refer to as polymers. The prefix poly means many. So that means we've got many monomers coming together to create a polymer. In order to create those functioning building blocks, we need to go through a reaction called a dehydration reaction, where we're bringing the monomers together to create that polymer. And in many instances, we need to break those polymers down back into their individual units, and we call that hydrolysis. So if we think of all of our major biological molecules, our macromolecules, they are made out of all of these smaller monomers. So by linking many of these monomers together, we can create those functioning biological molecules, or what we can consider a macro molecule, because like some of them are very large, to create our polymers. In life, about 50 different kinds of monomers help to come together to create all of the functioning polymers that are used by all of the different species of the world. So if we look at those major macromolecules of life, there are four main categories, carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. Th so these are all considered polymers. They are very large molecules that have been constructed out of smaller monomers. And all of these are needed for life to occur. Some major examples of those macromolecules of life are, for example, if we put together amino acids, we will get the polymer of a protein. If we put together simple sugars, also called monosaccharides, we will create the polymer, a complex carbohydrate called a polysaccharide. And some examples of those are cellulose, starch, and glycogen. If we're looking at the nucleic acids, the monomers that come together to create the nucleic acids are called nucleotides. And finally, our lipids, our fourth macromolecule, those have smaller subunits or smaller monomers called fatty acids that can come together to make that lipid. For an example, a triglyceride, which is a glycerol backbone with three fatty acid monomers coming together. In order to build those polymers, we need to go through a dehydration reaction. So let's think of what dehydration means whenever we're looking at the prefix suffix combination. D means removing or taking out and hydro means water. So what we are going to do is anytime we want to put two monomers together into a chain, we are going to remove a water molecule. So each time we add a monomer onto an existing chain of polymers or anytime we bring two monomers together, you will see a water molecule being released because of that dehydration reaction. So if you remember back to your functional groups, what is often happening is that a hydrogen from one of our hydroxyl or amino groups of one monomer is going to come together with the hydroxyl group from a second monomer. And through that combo of an H and an OH, we are able to create the molecule H2O and release that water. In doing so, we're going to create a bond between the two monomers. So let's look at an example on how that would work. So here is an example of a monomer. This is just a generic drawing. And here's an example of a second monomer. So as you can see, we've got those hydroxyl groups here. And what they're gonna do is as these two monomers move towards one another, there's gonna be that dehydration reaction. Sometimes you'll also see this considered um, a condensation reaction. And in doing so, we release the hydrogen from one of the hydroxyls and the entire hydroxyl from the other. And that comes together, releasing the water. So that's why we have a dehydration and synthesis. Synthesis means that we're making something or bringing that together. So here we've now made our beginnings of a polymer, and we've released a water molecule. 
Okay, sometimes we need to break our polymers apart. So if we need to, for example, break a protein down to its amino acids, we need to go through what's called a hydrolysis reaction. Um, so what's gonna happen is if we add water, so hydro means water, and lysis means to break down. So if we add water, we are going to break down the molecule. So let's look at our reaction again, but basically it's going to be in reverse. So here's our polymer, and we are going to add our water, and in doing so, that's going to break apart into our two separate monomers. So again, in order to put together a, pol a polymer, we are going to go through a dehydration reaction or dehydration synthesis by removing a water molecule in order to put those two monomers together. And if we want to break apart a polymer into its monomers, we are going to add water. So through hydrolysis, hydro meaning water, and lysis meaning to break apart, we're going to add water in order to break apart those into its two monomers.